Moving on with learning more about our past. The most obvious way we've done this is through fossils, right? Fossils are the remains, impressions, or other evidence of, the li of a life preserved in rock somehow. So generally only the hard parts of the organism, such as woods, bones, shells, and teeth, will become fossils because the rest will decompose or become eaten by something else. There's two types of fossils that we'll talk about, original remains and trace. Alright, so original remains fossils are the actual unchanged remains of a plant or an animal. So um, it can be preserved in amber, like that clip from Jurassic Park, how they save the DNA. Um, mummification, right, so they've saved the remains of the human in this case. Tar seeps can preserve organisms perfectly, and also uh, freezing will preserve organisms. A trace fossil is just the evidence of life other than the actual original remains, the body of the plant or the animal. So things like tracks, coprolites, or poop as I like to call them. All right, and then we have some imprints, or you could have a mold or a cast. So a mold is the hollow space left behind in the rock, and the cast is the replica created uh, in the rock by the mold. And it looks just like the original organism did. Another special kind of fossil is an index fossil. So these fossils are ones that occur in rock layers of a particular geologic age. And when we see them, we know how old all the other fossils around them are. All right, so these ones are easy to identify, found all over the world, and they have to have lived for a short period of time. And of course, I mean relatively short period of time, right? We're talking millions of years, but we don't want a hundred million, or well, depending on how old we're talking, but. All right, so we have an ammonite fossil. This is used as an index fossil, so if we find uh, another fossil next to it, we know, oh, it's about 180 or 206 million years ago. Same thing with a trilobite fossil. When we see something located next to that, we can automatically assume that that other fossil could be anywhere from 440 to 540 million years old. And now you guys will get to create your own molds, casts, and as such, a fossil of an object.